Hello and welcome back to Cinematic Universe, everyone. My name is Ernesto Martinez. It's my birthday today, and like I always do for the past 10 years on my birthday, is that I go and see a movie at the theaters, be it a brand new one or one that I liked the previous week and I'll decide to watch it again. But I'm in for a treat this week because there are three newer movies coming out. And for my birthday, I decided to watch a movie from my favorite all-time director, Steven Spielberg's The BFG, which is basically The Big Friendly Giant. And for most of you who like to calling it The Big Fucking Giant, and for you Doom players, The Big Fucking Gun, it's just The Big Friendly Giant. And a movie starring... Mark Rylance as the titular character, BFG. We also have Ruby Barnhill as our lead protagonist, Sophie. And then we also have other surprise appearances by Rebecca Hall, who I didn't expect she was going to be in this movie. And she's in there for a really short time, but, you know, for the most part, she gives it as much as she needs to. Then we have other actors like Bill Hader, who also plays a giant. Then you have Olafur Dari Olafsson, I hope I'm saying that correctly, as another giant as well. And there are many, many, many more actors who I could pretty much go down the list, but you'll probably either have never have heard of them, or you probably just recognize them by face. And there are just too many to count at this point, but... For the most part, the BFG takes place in an orphanage where Sophie is pretty much the most responsible little orphan at the orphanage because, you know, the adults who are supposed to be supervising them and doing their jobs aren't, so Sophie takes it upon herself to be the adult in the home. And one night, as she is walking about and suffering through her insomnia, as she calls it. She looks outside the window, and all of a sudden she sees a giant. And it scares her to the point where the giant sees her, and the giant is afraid that she's going to go talking to people and telling them that he exists. So he pretty much snatches her from her bed and takes her to his home, which is called Giant Country. And along the way, they go on an adventure. And... If I'm being very honest, this is a very, very sweet, very charming, cutesy kind of movie. It's a it's it's rated PG, which for some reason I expected it to just be G because I don't know what else constitutes it to be elevated as PG. Or maybe it's just because in the movie there tends to be some elements to it that might elevate it to PG, but I won't spoil that for you. All I know is is that. It's a very colorf colorful experience. It's really, you know, a collaboration between Spielberg and Disney. Just by looking at the visuals, you know, just the special effects alone, it kind of looks like a Disney live-action movie. But it's pretty much, from start to finish, a vintage Spielberg-type movie. You have all the spotlight uh, fetishes that Spielberg is known for, but he uses it very masterfully, as always. He's always highlighting his actors in a very beautiful glow, and it's something that that type of glamour, that type of cinematic touch that he's best known for, it's there. And if you love watching all of the vintage Spielberg moments, trust me, there's more for you to count. And the relationship between the little actress who plays Sophie and Spielberg's latest muse, Mark Rylance, they have a very great chemistry, and the motion capture is used kind of to perfection with Mark Rylance as the... Very giant, intimidating, but rather sweet um, giant that he is. And it's a great bond. It's a great relationship. It's very funny at times. Um, even when you look at the other giants who are pretty much three to five times his size. I mean, there are moments in this movie where the giants are playing with objects like boats, ships, cars, tow trucks, and garbage trucks. And they pretty much shows you a scale of just how enormous these creatures are. And the movie also has another plot where the big friendly giant is a sort of dream hunter or dream catcher where 
That's all he wants to do. He likes to collect people's dreams that are kind of like collecting fireflies and butterflies in a way. And there are moments of levity to spare, trust me. There is a moment in this movie where me and everybody in the theater were just unable to control ourselves. We were just laughing like crazy. And there are other moments which, as far as my negatives for this movie, is that there are some very slow moments where it kind of gets a little boring and you're testing the audience's patience. But overall... I can honestly say that it's through and through a kid's movie. Adults can find enjoyment in it because, hey, at my age, now that I'm 25, I can still enjoy a good kid's movie. And it's all about embracing your imagination and not letting anybody take away that fun from you. And in all the cynicism that we have in the world, that it's reflected in most big-budget summer movies... Here we have a summer movie that is that can just be enjoyed for the hell of enjoying it. There's nothing really bombastic in there that's going to blow your socks off. But it's the journey and the relationship between Sophie and the BFG that is really the treat of it all. And I would certainly recommend this for a family outing for little kids who just want to see little girls running around with giants and all that stuff. And also the movie embraces it fully embraces how silly it can get. And if I were to compel it, compare it to another movie that embraces its silliness, look no further than to Paddington, the one with the bear and the marmalade. Yeah, that's how I would compare this movie. And if you like that movie, then you'll definitely like this one. I would rate this, you know, I wouldn't put it in my top 10 of uh, Spielberg's uh, library. I probably could put it in the top 20, but it's vintage Spielberg, and if you love Spielberg, then you'll give this a shot. So I would give it a 7 out of 10. Yeah, a 7 out of 10 is appropriate for this movie. Thank you, everybody, for listening. My name is Ernesto Martinez. You can follow me on Twitter at MartinezXYZ. And if you're listening to me on YouTube, you can click that subscribe button, share this video, leave a comment, and give a like. And you can also find me on moviepilot.com, Cinematic Universe, and creatorsco.com, Cinematic Universe. Bye-bye, guys.